13 Eyewitness News, the 10 o'clock report with Jerry Tate, Claudia Barr, Paul Hartley Sports, Jim Jaggers Weather, and the award-winning Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everyone. Three Chi Omega sorority sisters at Ole Miss have been killed while trying to raise money for a charity. In addition to the three who were killed, 16 others were injured when a truck rammed a car that was trailing the group. The car flipped over and landed on walkers who were trying to raise money for the Mississippi Kidney Foundation. Three of the injured were flown by helicopter to the Med in Memphis where they're listed in critical condition. Three others were admitted to the Oxford Lafayette Medical Center in critical condition. Rochelle Rose at the scene of the accident this afternoon and has more on the tragedy. Members of the Chi Omega sorority were only a few miles away from crossing the finish line of their charity walkathon. The group had been walking on the side of the highway just outside Oxford. Survey is simply a way of letting you express your opinion. A little bit surprising, uh, the uh, overwhelming support for the downtown pyramid. It always is. You know, you never know what the public thinks about. Things. I thought there might be more support from alumni for the on-campus arena. A little bit surprising. President Reagan went back to school today. In fact, all the way back to the sixth grade. We'll have the story when Eyewitness News continues. And a former presidential aide was in court today. We'll have details of what happened there. I'm Jim Jaggers from Weather Center 13. There's some rain in our forecast for the weekend. I'll have it in just a few minutes. I'm Steve Crowley. Coming up, we'll talk about tax-free savings, beating Uncle Sam when it comes time to save money. The real March has finally come out. Yeah, it's been nice and warm and, mm -hmm. and sunny and clear and nice weather. Well, we're just going to turn that all around for the weekend and come up with uh, chances of rain and colder weather and clouds and it just all sort of flip-flops around, but that's March for you, I guess. Checking out of Memphis International at this hour, our clear skies and sunny conditions earlier. The conference was at stake in the Big Apple tonight. How did the Golden Eagles do, Paul? Quite well, as a matter of fact. Oh, good. <laughs> Southern Mississippi carried the honor of the state of Mississippi and the Metro Conference into tonight's NIT championship game. The Golden Eagles are the first Magnolia State team ever to play for a major postseason championship. Thank you, and when he talks, they listen. Hey, that's pretty good. It's our 10 o'clock report. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody.